Minecraft fans, it's Colin. It's a creeper world. The better you are at vanilla, the better you are with all the mods. Hey ho, Minecraft fans, it's Collins. And we're back. You can see I lowered the floor in here. I hope you like the new intro. I'm going to have that at the beginning of my videos. You saw the Enderman farm. That's one I built in a creative world. And uh, we will build almost the same one here. It's crazy. It will turn Enderman farming on its head. In the meantime, I am recording take two of my intro because I went through it and did not have my microphone connected right. So I'm going to show you a little montage of uh, exploring a little mineshaft section I found back there. And then we'll be back. Here we go. I just found this cave and didn't do anything in it. So we'll do a little bit of exploring, light some stuff up. There's been monsters that I hear in the back of the uh, in the back of the end portal room. So hopefully this clears it up. In the meantime, while we're exploring, I wanted to cover a few things. Uh, this video, uh, it's been a few days since I put some stuff out. All those ores. I'll grab those off camera later. Uh, it's been a few days since I put a video out. And uh, there's a couple of reasons for that. One is I have a tutorial video that I've been working on. I actually set up a creative world called Spawner U, Spawner University, and I will be covering my spawner designs in the in a tutorial. Uh, and that way you don't have to see it in every other. Uh, I fail at jumping up here. Uh, that way you don't have to see it in every other uh, Let's Play. Uh, so. There may be a little bit of time frame between Let's Play series as I put together more tutorials. Uh, but if you like the stuff in Let's Play, we'll uh, have more of those coming soon. Uh, the other thing that I got is I started a new job. I just got hired for a new job and I start in about a week. So uh, because of that, I may be, uh, you know, trying to do good at the new job. So I may spend less time on the videos also. And then the last thing that I want to do with my videos is I've kind of, you know, I don't have a whole ton of subscribers or views or anything like that, so I might do some stuff to try to promote the channel uh, before I start putting out a bunch more series that uh, five people watch. <laughs> uh, but I hope everybody's liking what they see and I'll keep putting more stuff out. Uh, kind of getting better at the video editing, so I got an intro now, so hopefully things will be cool. Now this chest has nothing in it. <sighs> has a respiration one book and I got respiration three books all day so blech. anyhow that's what I got in the world so far and that's why you'll notice uh, the let's plays may come fewer and far between and then hopefully we, you know everybody wish me luck in the new job and we will uh, I can't believe I got that zombie spawner without a single zombie spawn and we will uh, you know try to put out some more videos at some point but uh, maybe not right away. And here I go, Sissy Bart back up. And that was my little caving adventure with no monsters involved. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I lowered the floor in this room and I got a little half step. I can actually lower this portal because of the way I have the portal set up and that won't be a problem. I just have to move all the obsidian. Ugh. And I was thinking about, because with these half slabs up, that kind of leaves some floor space. So I may knock out that wall and move it back one, may knock out that wall and move it back one, which is why I discovered that. I may knock out this wall and move it back one, and I just move these stairs. That means I'd have to move them again. Here's the bottom cave spider spawner, the one that caught on fire. And you can see I just went nuts with the stone brick. Just cook up cobblestone, make smooth stone, turn smooth stone into stone bricks. It's a one for one, so stone bricks everywhere. More lava fires, hopefully. And I got stone brick here. Uh, that way, if stuff catches fire on this thing again, it won't... Uh, climb up and catch fire to the main spawners, which it didn't do before, but just in case. And I've been having just a horrible time with the spider path. So I got this thing here, fence post set up, and I can actually kill them here, but they're full health. Uh, but I've been trying to figure out a way to get them up a water elevator, and I had no luck. There's a design that Etho has um, in his Let's Play, and he used it quite a while ago. And I tried that design and it doesn't seem to work anymore. There's a new spider AI, so it doesn't seem to work. And uh, Exumavoid has a video with his design. And I tried that and it doesn't work either. And there's another guy who has another um, type of spawner design, or uh, water paths. And uh, 
I'm not going to mention his name because I don't think it's his idea originally. I think he stole it from someone else, claimed it as his own. Uh, but uh, that doesn't work either. So let's take a look at the zombie spawners. You can see I got my tissy bar here, the fence gate, and the way this works, you can't place a fence gate in the air, so you just throw like a dirt block down, place your fence gate, destroy the dirt block, the fence gate stays there. And then you got a little sissy bar. And this is my zombie spawner one. And uh, so we found the, uh, the the temple in the desert, and I ripped it all apart, and I stole the wool, and kind of set this up with the temple theme a little bit, and I made you some more, maybe put like a tower up on one side or something to make it look like a temple. But for now, I did it all um, with all the sandstone that I got from destroying the temple. And I got the second one set up over there too. And I'm going to show you this in peaceful mode, uh, just so you can see this cool effect. So this switch actually controls both of them, and you can see inside there it's kind of bright. And now it goes completely dark inside. The hash slabs don't let any light through, uh, but they allow me to see inside. So I think that's a pretty cool effect. And the same thing happens over here. Flip it on, flip it off, and the lights go dark inside. And this actually goes all the way up and uh, up through the bottom of the ocean floor. It doesn't stick out above the ocean, but it goes up pretty high, so I can get them to drop the one-hit kill. So uh, that's also not going to be fun to redesign. And then the zombies uh, drop potatoes and carrots. So potatoes and carrots, and I brought a bunch of bones over from the skeletons. So now I got dual skeleton grinder and dual zombie grinder. And I set up a chanting table here, stole the books from the library. I uh, actually don't have my silk touch pick anymore, so I chopped them up with the axe and got three books. And then I have a bunch of wood that I got for the uh, setting up the cave spider, so I used the wood to make new bookshelves. But anyway, this actually does level 20 six enchants and that's supposed to be the most likely level to get unbreaking so hopefully I get some unbreaking books and then I can make some unbreaking tools and unbreaking armor and let's take a look at a clip of what happened the first time when I tried to leave here go through my sissy bar what's that sound ah and there's another one oh and I'm going for the bow the bow's not in the inventory Oh, fail. Alright, so that's obviously a place I need to light up. And put my path back. And you know me, I just love to throw torches everywhere. But I gotta get up there first. Yeah, this was interesting. So the original audio for this is gone, and I have to redo it. But uh, I'm just recording the audio separately. And there's another one, but I can sneak and hide past him. And you can see I got flame on the bow now, <laughs> flame arrows. And it's an uh, infinity bow, so I can't get the arrows back. So the flame just stays there. And I ran out of torches. Okay, so definitely gonna have to go back for torches on this one. In the meantime, I think I'll just sissy bar this up. So here's the dual skeleton grinder. Um, and you can see, previously I could see the skeletons coming in over here. But I actually lowered uh, the skeletons down on the first spawner. And uh, it actually keeps that spawner from capping out uh, as they try to come up the water path. So uh, now I can't see them because it's down below all the redstone and stuff. Uh, but more skeletons come. So even crazier than the last episode where I had the 700 skeletons <laughs> and threw a potion at them. And then I set up a little garbage disposal here. And I've been playing with this dropper thing, trying to figure out how to get this to work. Because basically I want to destroy the bows. But the only way to do it is to push the button. So there's got to be some way to do something that with the dropper. I was hoping it would pull from the chest. I don't know. I'll figure that out later. And you can see I'm carrying a button. So, uh, like if I carry a torch, it's pretty unobtrusive in the view. And if I carry like a dirt block, it kind of sticks out a whole lot or something like that. But the button actually is very, even less intru intrusive. So I've been carrying the button around as I talk. So it gives me an idea to point with stuff. 
that's kind of cool and then here in the nether hub what I've been thinking about doing is setting up like the um, abandoned mine shaft looking thing with the wooden posts and the wooden pillars across the top the only problem is is in the nether especially with the uh, 1.5 generation there's like lava everywhere so if you saw when we explored the uh, nether fortress I was running along and there was just lava sitting in the wall like one little pocket of lava those little pockets are all over here um, as I dug out the path from the uh, nether fortress to the to my nether hub I kept running into those little pockets they're everywhere so what I might end up doing is just placing some wooden blocks at random locations and uh, seeing which ones catch fire and then digging around to find the um, lava otherwise they're gonna catch fire just like the spider spawner yeah all right what are we gonna do next just grab some pumpkins really quick here and some watermelons so um, one of the things that I may have mentioned in the past is that I am in the IT field and what I just did was I did some spring cleaning on the computer <laughs> actually just took the case off and blew a bunch of dust out I just use the air compressor I have canned air but it's easier to use the air compressor and uh, that's something that I have found works really well for um, just keeping your computer running better because uh, usually the, like, the death of most PCs is heat so uh, dust builds up and the fans clog up and they don't cool the system down and things start to break so I just want to mention that if that's something that uh, you can do on your computer just pull the cover off blow a little air through there get all the dust bunnies out maybe your computer runs stronger but I think we got a plan. We're gonna go to the end. So I grabbed some of this junk armor off from the drops from the skeleton zombies. And we should have some left in the uh, the storage chest minecart. And I brought a little bit of wood and I brought a whole bunch of arrows because I got tons of arrows. And I'm gonna leave the pick that's almost dead. I'm gonna new pick, I'm gonna leave the sword. Um, brought a junk bow, combined a couple junk bows and got that one. And uh, Grab some food, I got tons of food and some blocks just in case, and we should have some armor and stuff in the chest. But I think we're gonna go to the nether and or to the end and kill the ender dragon. And probably what I'll do is speed up the footage and uh, since I've been figuring out this recording thing, I may just record some audio over the top of the sped up footage. So we're gonna go to the end. So we jump to the end portal, my uh, blocks are still there. Grab some stuff out of the storage minecart from last time. So this is running at two speed and I'm doing the audio commentary after the fact. And there's the ender dragon, but we gotta get rid of all these tower things first. So these towers are any damage to them and they blow up. You can see I already got hit by the ender dragon. And again, I just didn't seem to figure that part out <laughs> the first time. <laughs> so there might be an improved AI for the dragon in the 1.5 in the Red Sun update. So, because I'm still on the 1.5 pre-release. You can see I was down pretty low. And I found out I made the wrong um, regen potions. So I wanted to make an extended time regeneration potion. Instead, I made the short time one with extended regeneration. But really, you don't take damage fast enough for the extra regen for a shorter duration. So it's better to have the regen potions with the longer duration. And I like the flame bow because you got these tracers. <laughs> like if I shoot too low, I can tell. And then I just aim up a little bit. Or I just miss a thousand times, full of fail. Luckily, I have <laughs> an endless supply of arrows from the zombies. I mean, the skeletons. And look, my food bar's low, but I just gotta eat some food. Wow, how long did I run around with no? Oh yeah, too late. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't do anything in the world. I just cut that out and jump back in and I'm gonna find my stuff this is funny at double speed I was gonna speed it up more but it's actually kind of weird so 
working on my gear. Just gotta put the right stuff on. Looks like I had pants. Did they break? I got the three ender pearls from doing the ghetto hunting blind. We stored them in the minecart earlier. Oh, and I knocked off the world. So I thought I actually fell out of the world. Oh yeah. So I went back to the zombie or the skeleton spawner, got some more armor, and I killed the pigman when he came through. <laughs> he came through the portal, I just killed him. What the hell? So I came back with more ghetto armor from that dropped from skeletons and zombies. And then all my stuff is still there on the ground. So I didn't actually need the ghetto armor. Oh, and look, I got hit again by the stupid ender dragon. So apparently uh, the AI is much improved. Look, it hit me again, I'm almost dead. And then that regen potion, it just fills your health bar up too fast. And then you're sitting at full health and the regen's wasted. And there, this block on the ground, there's a block of cobblestone down there. I placed that the first time we came to the end and I thought the ender dragon would steal blocks. Supposed to steal cobblestone. I don't know. I don't remember in the end of the video. I'll have to check it when we're doing the commentary. See what happens if that block's still there. And my path from the um, from the pad that I spawn on to the island is also cobble. So, <laughs> like that's why I brought cobble with me every time I came in because if I uh, if that path is gone, I have no way to get to the island. And see now that I've got the um. When I was trying to shoot the towers, it's hard to watch the Ender Dragon. But now that I'm just trying to kill the Ender Dragon, it's easy mode. And then every time you shoot the Ender Dragon, the they it changes directions. And here's that glitch thing you can see. So you saw the Ender Dragon like fly off, and then it looked like it was just standing in one place. That it's too far away for me to move anymore. So it's like it's in an unloaded chunk, and I can still see it. Um, and it used to do that a lot before um, whatever changed. I'm guessing, I'm thinking it's something in the um, redstone update that they changed on the dragon AI. But the dragon used to always like fly too far away and then just be stuck there and you can run around and do whatever. That's not the case today though. <laughs> I didn't expect this fight to be this crazy. Probably would have recorded it in real time. See, it does it again, glitched out, and then I gotta walk towards it in order for it to fly back to me. And then of course she beelines for me, which did not happen the last few times I killed Ender Dragon. I killed the Ender Dragon in the, my last two uh, survival worlds that I played. Uh, so the one where um, I have the video footage of like the Mage Tower and stuff, and then there's another LP or not? Oh, well, I didn't make a videos of it, but another um, survival world that I played in that I killed the Ender Dragon there too. On that fight was really easy, and the videos I've seen of other people fighting were super easy in mode too. I keep checking my arrows. <laughs> Am I out of arrows? I don't want to store all those blocks because now I'm expecting to die. <laughs> I'm like, what armor broke? Oh yeah, this is where yeah I go for the flame bow because <laughs> for some reason I grabbed all these skeleton bows and the one I grabbed didn't have flame. So without the tracers, it's harder to tell. That's what's kind of cool about flame. This it's like tracers. And you can see this dragon's all glitched out and doesn't load. And then once the dragon gets close, beeline for me. And I'm just wasting arrows because I got so many. <laughs> I don't even care. You'll see me run back to the hunting blind, the ghetto hunting blind every once in a while. That's because uh, I've been hearing the uh, like the Enderman sound, and I think they make the Enderman sound when you know they make that uh, noise when they aggro on you. And I think they do that sometimes when the dragon pushes them, because I kept hearing it, but there was no Enderman after me. And the other thing that I wanted to do is. Um, if you kill the ender dragon in your world, oh look, it died again. I'm gonna need a death counter. I didn't expect it. That's where I'd go serious. So now I gotta brew potions. I'm like done. Once I figure out how to brew potions, <laughs> I actually had to pause here and look up the recipe. <laughs> Gas tier, and then the redstone dust makes it last for a longer time frame instead of making it just stronger. So that's the regen potions that I wanted to make originally that I didn't. So I made him out of glowstone instead. Uh, 
but you can see those are two-minute regen potions. And that cobble on the walkway is still there. And it looks like that block is still there too. I specifically placed that cobblestone block right in front of me right there, just to see if the ender dragon would steal it. But apparently not. And of course, the ender dragon's in the unloaded again, so I gotta walk towards it. This was actually a lot more fun than I thought it would be. Like the last time I killed the ender dragon, it was so freaking boring. And you'll see me here, so the ender dragon's almost dead. And you'll see me, I go back, so this is the path I took up from my portal. So I wanted to kill the ender dragon near where my spawn in point is, so that the little thing that's created here, the spawn out point, is close to. And you see me uh, pillar up really quick. Uh, so I got 55 levels out of that. I'm trying to get the XP orb, but it fell through. So I got, got some book enchants, and saw unbreaking, and the knockback. So I jumped out of the portal originally really fast so that I wouldn't get all the XP orbs. Hopefully there's some left in there because you saw I got 55 levels out of that and the max you can enchant is level 30 and I've been doing level 26 on books. So I don't really need the extra levels. So it's better if you get the levels in um, not all in one shot because you know the higher levels take more XP to get. So I got 55 out of the first one and I should get more than 55 if I come back and the XP orbs are still there. So we're going to find out. And now that the Ender Dragon's dead, I'll have to do something about this um, obsidian portal here. I think what I'll do, yeah, see, look at all these XP orbs. Oh, and it looks like that cobble block that I did place did actually get taken by the Ender Dragon. Okay, see, I got another 51 levels. And you know what? I was going to bring ladders, and I didn't bring ladders. I got all these cobble blocks though, maybe I'll just bring a set up staircase over here. So we got 51 levels and we got this and I will probably cut the video here unless something uh, crazy happens and then we'll meet up at the enchanting table. Where'd you come from? Still got a zombie problem in the base. I'm just going to drop off empty bottles and we'll go over to an enchanting table. Okay, so we're over the zombies since I got my enchanting table and my anvil hooked up over here. And so I got the unbreaking book. Where is it at? Unbreaking 3. And uh, I think I'll combine it and I want to make diamond boots. Even though I made those cool chain boots. I want diamond boots. There's something with the 1.5. Like me. Click or... I don't know. Something they change the way you click stuff in the inventory, and I always end up clicking extra stuff in there. And I broke down my storage minecart, and when you break it, it turns the minecart in a chest. And I put the track in the box with the other tracks, and uh, kept the ender pearls, but I put some other stuff away. This particle effect makes me think something, something's going on over here. Uh, but uh, let's throw some enchants on this. So usually it's best if you start out with the higher level enchant, and then we'll give them names. That looks good. That's only 13 levels. I might have enough to actually do this. And then, can you do protection 3 with another protection 3 book and get protection 4? Yes, you can. Okay. And unbreaking. Go. So now I got boots that have uh, unbreaking and protection and feather falling. <laughs> These have the same thing. I, I like those boots, but I like the diamond boots. So I got diamond. I still got my little gold hat. Feels like a blonde wig. But there's a bunch of stuff we can do in the world, and like I said, I'll probably split off like the spawner setup design that I do for pretty much all mobs, zombies and skeletons and um, uh, big spiders and cave spiders if I can figure them out and then even for silverfish because um, now that we have access to the end we can get a whole bunch of ender pearls and basically we just run far away enough away from this stronghold and then throw ender pearls we can find the other strongholds because there's supposed to be three in each world 
the way I understand it, they're like, like if you draw a circle around a world spawn, um, one's off in one direction, the other one's off basically 120 degrees in a 360 degree circle. So we should be able to just head in the general direction of that from world spawn and get the other uh, strongholds if we want to find one and mess with the silverfish spawner. So I broke the one, I don't like breaking spawners, but uh, we got others we can get. The other thing we can do now is we can do the uh, Enderman farm in the end. A uh, real Enderman farm, not that ghetto hunting blind that I built out of endstone. <laughs> and uh, that will most likely be a tutorial, a separate tutorial from the Let's Play. So uh, again, that's another tutorial that I'll be working on. And so less time for another uh, Let's Play episode to come out. But hopefully the next time I do a Let's Play episode, we have a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, maybe we have this thing working, the cave spiders. And uh, have the... Um, oh, that's a long drop. Wrong way. <laughs> uh, have an end farm set up. Uh, I actually changed my background picture on my YouTube page to a new uh, screenshot of my Enderman farm. You saw it in the preview of the video. So I have the Enderman farm all set this thing up off camera so I can collect spider eyes for brewing. As you can see I got plenty of nether wart. See, I just put it in a high traffic area and then it's always here when I need it. Every time I walk by, plenty of nether wart. Same thing with the mushrooms. And this is that library that's right outside of, or really close to the base just up the stairs. You can see I already taken out an entire wall. Uh, just to get enough enchanting tables because I set up a second enchanting station at the uh, or well I set up the one at the skeletons with this and I set up the one at the zombies with this and then I broke some more down just to get books so I can enchant books I have to breed some more cows I don't like breeding cows that's why I like potatoes more than uh, steak so we got a piece of diamond armor hopefully we get some more unbreaking books and uh, do some more armor or weapons or picks or something and I got all the junk <laughs> I have all the junk uh, armor from the uh, zombies and skeletons and then I also have uh, the extra set of armor that we made so those three the low level chance and oh yeah so I got lava and water I was gonna bring that to the end and you can basically dump lava and water off the side of your end, at the edge of the end, and uh, it creates a cobblestone straight down. And then you just uh, put uh, ladders on it and ladder down to the, or follow the water path down to the end of the bottom of the world. And uh, that's how you do your path out to your Enderman farm. So you have it at a low elevation, that way you can build it up high. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I had a lot of fun killing the Ender Dragon. It was actually a lot more fun than I thought it would be. And uh, we'll do a little bit less of the progress of the spawners and we'll just put that in a separate tutorial and then we'll just use the actual spawners. So you'll see me doing enchants and stuff. But you won't see me sitting there splash potioning 700 skeletons or anything like that. Uh, but thanks everybody who's watching and following along. And hopefully it's not too long until I put out another uh, LP. But like I said, I got a new job coming up, and uh, gonna try to work on some tutorials. I have a bunch of tutorials I want to do, and we can do a, and the Enderman farm in this world, and I'll do that as a tutorial also. Uh, but uh, thanks for everybody for following along. Thank you everybody who likes and subscribes and leaves comments. I got the feedback I have so far is really good. Thanks everybody. See you next time.